swanlings, and welcome to another Berry World stream! It's been a while! Oh god, I already have redeems. I should get to those, shouldn't I? But first, welcome Spilled Ink to the flock! We grow! We are powerful in numbers, and now I hydrate. It's a good thing I got water before this. And virtual hug, mage. Hello. Hi, guys! Nice to see you, Evan. Nice to see you, Royal. Nice to see you, Crystal. Nice to see you, Mage. You're you're somewhere here. Oh, there you are. Hello, Jacko. And I think without further ado, we should probably be getting into character. There we go. Game. Why won't you just flawlessly register that I'm trying to stream Minecraft? The fuck? Okay, either something I just heard nothing, or it's okay, guys. I'm going insane, actually. Shh, we don't question. Alrighty. What accent is that? Hold on, let me summon my inner Texan. I haven't done this in apparently 20 years. Alrighty. Uh, okay, there we go. I found it again. I swear to God. Anyway, we live, we live ranch free in Swanson's head. Yes, you do. Anyway. Knock, knock, fella. Hey. Let's see you're getting some pretty good use out of that journal. I mean, yeah. It's hard to see writing sometimes. Yeah, I'm sorry we haven't made much progress with getting you new glasses yet. No, 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 it, it's fine. We, I was thinking I'd try to go to the research center and probably try out some things. That makes, you know, a mighty good amount of sense. They definitely have the resources probably to try to make you some, uh, some new ones. Um, there is something I've actually been thinking about. So, mm -hmm. you've been, you know, you don't want to stay in Orlade anymore, right? Uh, not really. Well... Uh, I've been developing talent peaks, more or less, and I think I, I got a place I want to show you. Okay. Do you want to come with? Yeah, I'll try. You may not really be able to see all of it just yet, if, you know, given your vision, but, I mean... I mean, hey, I'm so surprised those stairs haven't killed me yet. Yeah, that is fair. Maybe I should try to make this place a bit more, uh, friendly to, uh, blind folk, or just, I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's just... Yeah, well... Foot, footwork. Yeah, but it's still kind of waking me to the reality that it ain't that friendly to begin with to those that just aren't able. That's not the best thing in the world. I mean, yeah, yeah. So this building here is the apothecary. And if you'd like, I kind of want to give it to you to be your new home, if you want. I mean, would be nice. Plus, kind of don't have to worry about me living in your spare room for a little while. Well, it's more so it's your own space. You can do whatever you want with it. It's a shop, True. yeah, but you don't necessarily have to run it. You could get someone else to. And there's a basement area that you could turn into your own little, you know, room in underground space. I have to push my enormously high pricing insurance here. <laughs> well, let's at least keep it reasonable. This place ain't exactly meant to, well, it don't got the highest accommodations, but I hope uh, this no. one is, meets your standards. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Do you want to see inside? As much as I can see. <laughs> I've already gotten most of the shop areas fully furnished for you. But you can change anything around if nice. you so want. It's just, you know, a starter, starter place, all that. Yeah. Definitely. Better. Pretty Tell big. There's an upstairs. 
Hmm? I can tell there's an upstairs. That certainly there is. It's a bit just more shop. Yep. Figure knowing you and your uh, salesman ways, I should probably expect a pretty big shop would fit. Mm hmm. Besides, you did build a good amount of the exterior before your fall, so. This really was yeah. just me putting the finishing touches on the inside. That looks amazing. What you can see yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Just... You'll be able to take in the full thing once we get you some new glasses. Yeah. I'm glad you like it, though. I was a bit worried about that, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Didn't know if it was uh, proper for me to try to give you a place, because I suppose I didn't know if you wanted to, I guess, stay in this town, you know? Just because you wanted to leave Orlay didn't exactly mean you wanted to move out here into the Wild West or whatever. Honestly, it's... It's calmer here. That it is. Well, I gotta be getting going. Some things I gotta update the Empress on and all that. You be, you're gonna... It, words. Will you be fine here on your own for a bit? Yeah, no, mostly, yeah. It's probably just stay in the apothecary for a while till you get back. All right. Demi isn't yeah. too far, so if you do absolutely you know an emergency, her place is just a bit that way. And she has promised me she's built more paths over that damn water, so. That would be, that'd be nice. Yeah. Really nice. Really nice. Stay safe, fella. I'll be back before you know it. I'll try. I hate leaving her alone like that, especially when it's kind of my fault she broke her glasses. Not much I can do about it, though. I don't exactly know how to make the damn things, but... At the very least, I can try to make sure she can live her life still until she finds some new ones or gets some new ones. She's been getting mighty good at actually navigating her way around just by memory, though. Anyhow, I gotta head to Haven because of that stuff I heard the other day with... Well... With, uh, Lee and Nova and all that. Nova's still in, uh... She's still in prison. Jail. All that. I don't really want to leave her alone, per se, but, you know. I've warned Demi of the situation, at least. Besides, Nova's been pretty... doing pretty fine, to be honest. She's gonna be out pretty soon, actually, now that I think about it. How many days left is it of her week? And what's time, anyway? I've got it written down somewhere, I'm sure. Alright, Skyway time it is. Let's see if I remember how to get to Haven. I'm honestly, frankly, concerned. I mean, Lee said some pretty concerning things. Yeah, the kids. That's exactly why I'm going, actually, to the Empress. Pretty sure that's been a cold case for a long while, and, well, this is the first lead we got on him. And again, I don't exactly have any solid proof. All I have is word of mouth, and hell, I could have misheard that situ- that whole thing, in fact. It wasn't exactly as if I was right next to him listening in, I was, uh, across the room, frankly. But what concerns me a bit more is Lee. The Empress is... Well, hell, it sounds like she's still threatening him. What kind of person am I if I can't even protect my own guards? What kind of captain am I if... they can't rely on me for anything? I gotta do something about that, but... I'm not sure what just yet. I gotta focus on these kids first. Lord knows whether or not they were actually taken against their will or if they're there on their own. 
It's hard to know. I mean, they're smart, so I mean, that could say something about it, but... The fact that they're still eight does matter. They can't just go off on their own like that. Honestly, though, I doubt the Empress is going to be able to think rationally about all this. Her kids are... Easiest way to get her pissed off and just acting irrationally all bit. Anytime the Empress has threatened them, I haven't done much. I only spoke up to her about that one time. There's a lot more I could have been doing, and there's a lot more I should have done. Hell, even though we're a unit of guards, it's not like we're relatively close. It's not like we can expect each other to have each other's backs. There's a lot I'd say I failed on there. That I should have done better. But I will do better as soon as these damn kids are found. Yeah. Lee has really been worrying me. I mean, hell, he's not exactly the greatest guy, but I will admit, I don't think he's exactly... ...messed up, to put it lightly, since he wanted to go on that whole redemption crap. Well, whether they actually were forcibly kidnapped against their will or not, if someone is housing them and, like, just not turning them over, that's still kidnapping. There are proper processes to go to, you know? And yes, sir, we don't exactly have them anymore in Rotten. We don't exactly have, you know, what do you do, you know, there's no CPS necessarily, there's none of that, but there are still proper channels that you should go through to remove a child from someone, a mother's home. And that isn't... Otherwise, it really is still just kidnapping, whether the kids want out or not, and it's... It's a whole situation. It's not good, but... They still genuinely could have been taken against their will. I haven't forgotten it's Yuki for even a moment. Because if I did, then well, I might as well, you know, sign my own death warrant. Might as well sign the death warrant of Lord knows how many others. I know it's not fair. I know there's no way to ensure that it's fair. I understand that that's why folk have wanted to rebel against the Empress. I get it. They can't impeach her. They can't, intr they can't trust that she's not going to use her power fairly because there's no way to regulate it now there's nothing to do about that anymore and I, I understand but still that doesn't mean that breaking the law ain't breaking the law that's the thing the empress may be bad in a lot of ways she may be rash at times despite her intelligence and a lot of other things but she loves those kids She's willing to threaten and kill anyone that it takes to make sure they're safe. She loves them. And I don't, I think those are the last people she'd mistreat. So. It's a whole situation. But now that we got some semblance of a lead, we got something to go off of. Yeah, we gotta find those kids. I'm just gonna have to be ready and attempt to temper the Empress's anger, I guess, if it comes to that. Yeah, I think that might be likely then. We need to reload skins. <laughs> 
how he didn't do a skin check. Okay, there we go. Now we're fine. <laughs> Yeah, fella. What do you need? I was on my way to see the embers, but that can light. You got something more pressing for me? So, villagers told you that Nathan left to Canada to follow lead on the children. Canada? What, he thinks they've gone up there or something? I see. Would be bad if something happened to a fellow that's working on the case. I assume they're working on the case, considering they're following a lead. Yeah, I can look into that for you. I mean, might as well. How long ago were they gone? Did you say, or? Five days ago, right. Okay. Canada. Well, you know, at least I know my geography well enough to know where that is. Thank you for letting me know. Good work. And as soon as we come, as soon as we leave. Alright. Well, that was certainly interesting. So there's a fella that's also seemingly on the case, at least from my guessing. That guard there would have corrected me if it was otherwise. Or if I was wrong, that is. So actually, I suppose this gives me an excuse. I think we're gonna go find this Nathan. See what they know. And at least try to maybe confirm this whole thing about Nova before I go spouting off to the Empress and potentially ruin someone's life. So, first I gotta go prepare. Then I suppose I'll be off to Canada.
just realized that I was muted um, on the stream end, so we're gonna backtrack a hot second while I repeat everything I just said and cry about it. Hold on. Do boo do 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 boo. Anyway, now I get to cry. Taming this horse rat was the it was the right thing to do, but my lord, I never expected that riding a horse for several days would well, I didn't expect it would be the actual worst. And again, this fellow's doing a pretty good job. Ugh, water. Think you can step over that fella? Just just keep me out of it. Alright, thank you. Thank you. That was that was a little scary. Y'all have got a, not many theories, though. I mean... As smart as they are, they are only eight. We gotta, we gotta remember that, you know? There's only so far they could travel, and only so much that they know about the world, despite the fact that they've been in it, you know? I feel like they all three would potentially- no, wait. No, I do remember. Wasn't it that two of them left first and then the last one ran off? Oh, one is eight, two of them are nine. Well, how exactly am I supposed to know the qu all the Queen's children's ages? Other or activity was sensed in Canada. So I suppose that Nathan fella which I assume the Empress assigned to work on this case. Assume he came here to check it out. I think I met him once. And wow, I guess the fellow wasn't wrong. Or at least that one villager's advice. That most certainly does look like a house. Now whether or not it's inhabited is another thing. Suppose there's only one way to find out. All right, there. Watch your step, there, fella. Well, we can't fit through there. Let's find you another way. Something a bit through here. All right. Let's be careful when I approach. Now we don't need to be startling nobody. We don't want to fight. Is that a? Polar bear? Uh, howdy there, folks. I don't come Hello. meaning any harm. Although I do have one question. Is that a polar bear? Yes, that's that, that. snowy. You know what? what? I've what seen it all now. All right, fella, don't go running off. What? Wait a minute. Do you... I know you. Hold up. Aren't you that sheriff from Spirit of Waste? Uh... Aren't you they... that sp sheriff? So-called sheriff from Spirit of Oasis? Well, Spirit of Oasis ain't exactly my home. Uh, I'm from Talon Peaks. And if I'm correct, one of you is a fella named Nathan. You're looking at him? Alrighty. Well, supposedly you've been gone for quite a few many days and some folk were getting concerned because you were the one that's supposed to be looking for some kids, if I'm correct. Oh, yeah, that. Okay, uh, I can recall. Something along that lines. Yeah, well, I've been sent to find you, and I'm certainly glad to see that you're alive. That's beneficial, by all means. Um, but who are you, ma'am, or... Mr. They them individual. I'm, personally, I'm feminine female. Um, don't really give a shit, but you know, preferably. Um, Noted. My name is Maveris, but you can call me Ress or whatever the fuck you want, really. Maveris. Interesting name. Uh, you live out here, I assume. Yep. Welcome to my well house. And that's about all. Lives out here is me alone for several years till recently. I've had some visitors. Um, just been calling it out an act, but yeah. 
I say. Did you just wake up here one day or something? Well, you hit that nail on the head. Yeah, I well. I think it's what happened to a lot of individuals. That it most certainly is. Alright. Well, suppose, I guess, while you didn't uncover the kids, you uncovered another fella. Uh, it was, seems to be the case. <laughs> yes, you have a knack for finding missing things, except maybe the missing things that you're meant to find. Oh, well. Either way, I got a lead on the case. So I'm going to need to be taking you back if you're fine with that. Um, not a problem, honestly. Alrighty. Well, Miss Rez, pleasure meeting you. I'm Sheriff Swanson. I live in down in Texas in a little place called Talon Peaks if you ever have need of a fella. Uh, but... Nathan, I suppose I should tell you, though, first, uh, what it is. Basically, is yes, yes it is. I have reason to suspect that Nova, the president of France, may have housed them for a time. And I think we I should go know. check out the place to see if that's actually true. Alright, all right, then. I figure you know the, the way back there. I most certainly do, and I advise we take this here, the, the horse. Don't exactly have a name for them. I kind of tamed them on the way. <laughs> Figured it was faster than walking. It is. Well, it's you're very more intelligent by the seemings. Did something Especially happen to this here fella on his way up here or no, something? No, no, nothing happened to be concerned about. Yeah, I wouldn't call Let's just say hypothermia nothing, but sure. Hypothermia is a nasty one. You're lucky then, because it sounds like this fella here found you. <sighs> Not a nice way to go. Presumably you're both detectives is what I'm hearing. At least. Seems to be the case. Pieces. Well, I suppose you can call me that. I was a police detective. I didn't exactly specialize in nothing. Private detective. Well, that's good to know. Um, you know, at least you have, have, you know, something to go off of when it comes to these cases. Not some fucking dunce who doesn't understand the law and running around as if they're almighty. Uh, yeah, there's a good amount yeah. of folk that don't respect the law anymore these days, but... Well, at least some of you do. At least. No, the sound of it, you had some kind of field in law, or around it at the very least. Yeah. That would be correct. I personally did work as a detective. Um, neither of your two varying one nonetheless. With the police, or were you like a private investigator? I worked upon a lot of cases for a lot of different things. Went undercover, oh. did the whole works. Let's just leave it at that for now. You know what? Fair enough. All right, then. And by your reaction, I am now assuming that neither of you have ever seen anyone in Canada before. Most certainly not. I mean, I don't exactly here. frequent up here, but there's a good a lot of folk that have kind of come to, well, they've come to join society more or less, made themselves known. But from the sound of things, people didn't know you were around, so you didn't exactly know about things until now. I mean, did you? See. Well, a bit of a warning. Okay. Bit of a. Let's just say on those two men, they showed up. They threw swords in my face because they thought I was with a certain faction of which they disagree with, and proceeded to apologize. Wait a second. Wait. Did one? Did they call themselves the New World Order or Argus Insurgency? Both names arise. I would have to go through things to figure out which one 
they work, Ramadan? I see. Well, we could say that things down in our lovely society aren't exactly going so great. We've been on the verge of war for months at this point. No one knows who's going to blow the final casket. And on top of that, it's become more of a lawless land that tries to prance around and pretend it's got laws. So. Oh, lovely. It's like a dictatorship. I not feel sad that I don't live anywhere near any of you, then. Yeah, some could I consider it a mistake uh, that I joined society, but I'm in it now. Might as well do something to fix it. Well, well um, I will say enjoy that absolute shithole you're living, and may the idiots in charge of this entire debacle figure out what they're doing with their lives, but I'll be here with my bear and doing what I've been doing for the past year. You know what? That's respectable. Right. Good luck on the missing persons case, though. That is something I should report. All right. Thanks. I think that's our cue to leave, Nathan. You don't mind sharing a horse, do you? Um, no, not, not at all. Alrighty, because we're going to have to. Oh, thank you for tethering the fella, by the way. I didn't exactly have the time to collect all the proper horse equipment, so. That's fine. I have it just in case Snowy was going to reluctantly come back with me. No, you would find. Uh, honestly, fucking keep it. I don't care enough. I have extras. No, oh, thank you. Enjoy your time. Snowy. It's Enjoy fine. Your time. Um, I'm calling it a night. Alrighty. Take Thanks. care, fella. See you again. Well, that certainly was a pleasant individual. Yes. But we should be on our way to France. We got a long trip ahead of us. If we want to get back before Nova's out of jail, or while she's still <laughs> in jail, we gotta kind of book it. Good call. So. I don't exactly know how to ride horseback, but, but it's obvious you do, so I'll be riding back. Yep, don't worry, just hang on and you should be fine. <sighs> Alright then.
I am so good at unmuting! I'm drowning, I'm drowning myself in the fucking river. Swanson's worst nightmare. Okay. We're drowning her in the river. Okay, we're drowning her in the that. river. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're doing take two of that. We're doing take two, we're doing take two. Hold on, God, I'm, I'm very professional, guys. I am actually so professional. You don't even know how professional I am. I'm kidding, anyway. Let's try this again. Horse, give me your lead. Come here. Okay. The count of three. <laughs> Go back and fade. Or should we just do this anyway? Whatever works best for you. My chat already knows I fucked up, so we're just gonna, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll do a three, two, one, and for my end, I'll fade in. Yeah. Okay. All right. You count down. Three, two, one. That trip was marginally faster, I think, which is surprising considering this here fellow was carrying both of us. You did so good, fella. I'll have to give this fella a name. A lot of apples for that. Here, let's get you situated over here near the water. I think I there just walked all, all the way over there. Yeah, that was a lot better. Well, yeah, but it would have taken us several days, so. In any case, if you're not too sore, you ready to get down to investigating? I'm all Good. Been a while since I've had to do this, frankly. Uh, by the way. Hmm? Um, back there, you said you were from Talon's Peak. Or is that how you say it? Yeah, Talon's Peak. Mm, close enough, anyway. It's a small little thing out in Texas. Not really big. Just gotten Main Street finished, to be honest. Well, if you have any room, let me know. What, you thinking of moving? I wouldn't put that. I think you know the going down. I wouldn't be on my mind. Well, give me the word. There's always room in Talon Peak. Or Talon's Peak. I don't exactly got many folk living there. It's just me and a fella named Luna. This'll be your place, then. <clears throat> Definitely keeps a lot of... Animals, creatures, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Seems to be. And a lot of dogs. I need to make sure these guys oh, get here. food. Huh? You found something? Hey. hey. Over here. Better pond. That's a... Not a small fishing rod. Yeah. That's too, too, a bit too small for an adult to use. Yeah. Frankly, it would make a lot more sense if a kid used it. Yeah, this, this is weird. It's not definitive proof, but I mean... Enough reason maybe with some other stuff to be suspicious. Possibly when the kids use this? Yeah, that definitely could be the case. Let's see if we can find anything else that indicates them. Because that alone I don't think is enough reason. I mean, hell, Nova could just have a... You know, messed up making a fishing rod or something. Let's see what's inside the house. Been in here before, but... Last time I was here, I didn't get a good look. Oh, you check oh. the upstairs, I'll check down here. Alrighty. I think Nova slept up here, maybe. It's got uh, one of those yeah. fancy chests and some basic stuff. Well as an armor stand. Can you come down here for a second? Oh, find something else? Hmm. Um, not something definitive, but most of the chests and bomb shelves all contain food, right? Yeah. However, the, the top, these top ones don't exactly, don't have any. That is weird. I mean, it could just be how they decided to organize it, but... Yeah, but it could also be in the fact that, well, the kids, kids are small. Make it, make it easier for them to get food by putting them down in lower storage. Yeah, that's definitely true. This would be within reach of the kids. That way they didn't have to ask Nova for help to get some. Well, I can mark that. This is possible evidence, even though this is nothing really strong to go by. Yeah, this is adding together. If we find a, maybe where they'd be sleeping, that would be excellent. Well, it would be kind of hard unless they literally had child-sized beds, but 
Let's see. Right. I think there's a downstairs area somewhere. Did you finish checking all down here? Uh, oh, this probably uh, is I it. believe so. Hold on. Quite roomy. Who recognizes this it? table? You've been here before? Yeah, no, the Empress came here at some point to have a... A friendly chat who would know about some things. I remember I stood right here because uh, I was one of the Empress's guards that day, but... Ours? Yeah, no, this is definitely weird. This was not here. These beds, and already oh. Nova seemed to have a bed set up up there. It seemed to be hers. Same. This looks makeshift. Yeah, you think it might have been one the kids been sleeping on? Yeah, I think the kids might have been sleeping here. So, last time you here, you had a, a queen had a friendly conversation? Yeah, it was more like subtle threat and, and back and forth. It was interesting uh, to watch. No. You know what? I'm not surprised. But. Let's see, let's what's see. back here? Uh, of books. Looks like a setup for enchanting. Yep, and I was right. Not a bad setup, if I have to say. Not, not quite a bird's when it comes to all of this, but it seems from. Talon Peaks right. export for that Pandora's Law is enchantments and that sort of stuff. I also provide some armor at times, but. Hey, if I remember correctly, um. So, then Nova showed me this room while I was looking at the mines. The whole thing underground. Bunch of iron doors everywhere. Yeah. Looking out, though, that is uh, certainly a bit of a chaotic mine, but they're mines. No, I never really explored, like, around what what was over here, and I saw yeah. these stairs last time. Well, might as well check it out. Right. The empty room for no reason. This is weirdly shaped. It's like, actually, it looks like a room. Past yeah, all the other like, stuff, it didn't really look like one. Structure, this one looks well, well made as... Is that an arrow? Looks like a broken one. The tip seems dulled. It's, yeah. Crashes on the wall. Yeah. I think the... Someone used the arrow to scratch marks in the wall? Uh, and it seems to have been recently, considering the grind, grindstone dust uh, that's on this. And given how, given how firm this feels, it, it feels like there's you no... Know, so. oh. Odd. I guess it's, someone must have done this. This is kind of a waste of an arrow, though. Yeah, I, mean, I don't see why Nova would come down here and scratch at her own walls with an arrow unless she was extremely bored. Do, do you think? Wait a minute, do you think one of the kids was hiding here? I mean, I Just, suppose it's a possibility. I mean, I know yeah. for certain that people have come around France multiple times. So. Oh. Yeah. Well. This is all getting interesting. Mm. Yeah. Hi. Doesn't it look like there's supposed to be a door here? Um, I I don't know. I mean, there, there are buttons. yeah, there are buttons on the wall, but the frame's empty. Wait a second. Well, no, but all of the doors down here, the the frames and everything, they got these iron doors, except that room. And past each of these doors, there's mines. Except that room, do it doesn't have a mod. It has, like, a carved-out space. Mm, what if that well, was a space made, made specifically to hide the kids when people came around? Mm, that would well, support your theory about maybe them scratching at the walls of that arrow while they were hiding one day. It makes extra well, sense, because, I mean, it takes a bit to get through an iron door. Possibly, but how... However, um, last time I was here, Nova told me that this place was originally for keeping their villagers, you know, to make sure they didn't, didn't escape. It's possible that they just slowly taken down the iron doors and making this more into a mine. Than to make sure they didn't keep. escape? Okay, that does not sound good whatsoever. Um, 
<laughs> know what I mean. Aside from that, that would be the perfect cover, though, wouldn't it? Eh, well, we got no definitive proof. Yeah, that I mean, is true. We haven't exactly found something that the Empress could recognize as theirs, unless that's be that fishing rod's extra special or something. I don't know shit about these kids aside from the fact they're smart, so. That they are. But we found reasonable suspicion to think that they'd been down here before. Yeah, and that they stayed in this place, most likely. Listen, <clears throat> you can come over here for a quick second. Of course. Don't, don't look at the house, okay? Alrighty. When we gather, there's a chances of the, the kids being near our height, right? That there is. Mm -hmm. Now, we we don't know whether the kids are, are still here or they're still hiding. So, for safekeeping, I have, I have an idea. What's this idea of yours? Nobody gets that you sound a day, right? Mm-hmm. Just right. about. You go, you go to Yuki, you, tr you go to Yuki, try and confirm your suspicions. I'll, just, I'll make it seem like I'm leaving, but I'll stay here and see if they try to lure out the kids. That might be the only way to confirm if Nova gets released as planned and you're there to watch for it. Like, you could catch her in the uh, act. Exactly. I have to make sure for wherever the hell, if these kids are here or not, I, can't, I have to be sure they don't see me. Otherwise, this whole plan goes to shit. Yeah. All right. All right. That's right. We both make it to the exit out. And you go on without me, I'll put, try to hide behind a house or some shit. Of course. to get going. Shit, was this the same exit entrance? I doubt it, actually. Let's see, where's the fella? Over there. Alright, fella, we gotta get going. What happened to your lead? Did you bring... There you are. Come on. We gotta get going, fella. We gotta go tell the Empress that we have high reason to suspect. And there, there my parents go yelling. Come on, fella. I promise I'll give you a long rest. This is the last hurdle we gotta go through. We finally are on to something. Alright, my swanlings. That shall be the end of today's stream. I hope y'all enjoyed it and had a fun time. You know, as you should. Uh, yay, there will be more to expect. Will we find the kids? Have they been kept against their will? Or were they all willing in this whole situation? Do they actually want to get away from their mother? Who knows? I don't, except... Unless I do. <laughs> Listen, folks, this was an hour! You call an hour short? <laughs> okay, it is kind of short sometimes. I'm sorry, fellas. We should maybe have some longer ones going up in the future. But until next time, I shall say farewell. Except, thank you, Onyx Potato, for following. Welcome to the vlog. Now, I hope y'all have a good rest of your morning, day, night, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for y'all. Take care.